Gemini, welcome back to Mystical Illuminations. It's your girl Merch, the Big Body Vince. Run, tell them. The Big Body High Priestess, somebody come see this. Uh, I popped in to say hey, introduce myself, see what's going on with you, Gemini. Let us get uh, really acquainted. What better way to do, to do that than to get up in your energy, get a little comfy, get a little cozy. Feels a little sexy, actually. Feels like you want to snuggle up against somebody, but they don't want to, or one person does, someone wants to snuggle up against you this way, but you're not down. <laughs> Leo and Gemini, Leo and Gemini, I keep hearing that. That energy was popping up in Taurus's reading too, I just did Taurus's reading. Check out your other placements, you know, as I post them. But, You want some other shit, Gemini. You really are. You want some other shit. Late night, being up working late night, uh, being re up real late at night working, getting to it, having so many ideas, so many things to ma to manage, so many little projects in the work, in the works, things that you're working on. Really micromanaging everything that you're putting together in, in, in a real impeccable way. It being really intricate, the things that you wanting, uh, being really hard to put together, it being really delicate, there being a lot of moving pieces from huh, from a manufacturer's standpoint, it being a real pain in the ass. That's something that my Gemini client said to me today. That being the truth universally. From a manufacturing standpoint, what you want being doable, somebody will make it happen, but it's a pain in the ass. It's hell. It's really expensive. It takes a lot of time for some of you. What you need or what you got going on. Overall, your life being looking like a blessing, being a blessing for sure. You being really abundant and looking like the, life, the type of life that somebody wants to have. But there being so many moving parts. You, you working so so hard to keep it afloat. So many things have to be done. To get the results that you want to get done. And if they knew half the work that they had to do in order to make it work. They, they, they'd think twice about wanting your position. Heavy is the motherfucking crown. Gemini, you kind of feel like a boss. I ain't gonna hold you. Being a boss is stressful. That's why. You feel like a boss. You stress the hell out. <laughs> yeah. Lying on your plate. Crazy shit. Crazy shit is some of you are into the name. All you care about is the name. You don't care about what you look like. Wipe your face, Gemini. Wipe your face. You might have something on your face, Gemini. Clean your face. Wipe your face. Check your nose. You got boogers? Clean your face. So you got your thing in your teeth. Make sure you got the boogers out your eyes. Crust out your eyes. Check your face. How you look? You dress your makeup smudging. Your makeup smudging under the eyes. Check your face. Check yourself. How your clothes saying? Got they wrinkle? Pull them down. Some of you don't give a shit how you look. You let yourself go, you just don't, or you just don't care. But you know you look good, so you never focus on it. You naturally look good. You're in your natural state. You don't have to do much. You're not focusing on what you look like. It's literally one extreme or the other. You look really crazy and you don't take care of yourself at all physically. Or you look really great naturally. And you put in some effort, it's next level. It's, you know, you're being really beautiful. But also I'm hearing check your placements. Check your placements. Uh, this, 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 this is meant to be intended for someone rising Venus and North Node. But this can apply to you wherever you, my readings, they hit like that. My readings can apply to you wherever you have uh, this placement in your chart. Be like that. Something about that. Something about what you do hit different, Gemini. Be like that. You're really nice at what you do. I'm really exhausted. 
in a minute I'm about to start channeling in my sleep <laughs> literally <laughs> you being able to do what you do in your sleep or you being able to be a, bi a big flex that being a flex of mine sounds kind of weird but it's not I could do this whole reading and sleep at the same time it's a flex something that you're doing for everyone to see you can do in your sleep at this point it, where it runs itself in your sleep Something is running itself. You make money in your sleep. You're being really good. It's so efficient. It runs so smoothly. That you, that you, you, you can rest. Or you need some sleep. Go to sleep. It'll run. Go to sleep. It'll run. Rest a little bit. Take a break. Take a pulse. You're checking something every two seconds. You need me to rest when somebody else rests. Something about this kind of feels like you and somebody else are on the same schedule. But you need to get all of your things on the same schedule, all of your children, all of your people on a schedule, all of your workers on a schedule. Your channel message was, Why don't we fall in love, right? Why don't we fall in love by A. Marie? That was your channel song. Ha ha ha. You all about love, wanting to be in love right now. You're thinking about love. When people want to give you love, your ass don't want love. At the most awkward time, you want, you want some fucking love. And nobody think about giving your ass love. They got other things to do, and now you want it. That's why you want it. Because you don't really want it, you, you know. The moment somebody look at your ass, you run the other way. Also, you want what you want. You want a lot of time. You want the things that are unavailable. Some of you out here begging for sex. You out here begging for sex and you just stop this being a universal ass energy. Be like, oh my God, did she just say that? Yeah, and it's a feminine energy. You throwing yourself at people who don't want you. Someone turning you down. Some of you, somebody being really attracted to you, but being able to say no. But this, this being a universal thing of you wanting it and someone else doesn't. You're not being able to take no for an answer. You pouting. You're getting angry. Yeah. You're trying again and again. Stop doing this. It's beneath you. Listen to somebody when they say they don't want you. It hurts you when you get rejected. This, this feels like it's from your, your partner or from a friend who's really close that you may have feelings for, but you're overstepping a boundary. You're not listening. Some of you, it's it's unfair because you're in a relationship with someone. For others of you, it's your this person just feels like you're 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 violating their boundaries. It not being a good look for you. Somebody lied on you. Have you somebody lied on you, Gemini? Who the fuck lying on you, Gemini? Fuck lying on you. Call them out. Call them motherfuckers out. I feel like you did. I feel like you did. I feel like you do. You don't play that shit. Lie on me. I'ma call you out. I'ma embarrass you. It's the facts. What? The facts. Feels like it came out like that. Someone tried to lie on you and their own insecurities. Could be a fire sign, could be an Aries, could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius. So this happened during Aries season. Someone tried to lie on you, some some shit hit the fan, someone wanted to fight, they ain't want to smoke. You called them out. There being no proof to what they accused you of. It's the, 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 the it was the foundation of something that kicked the trap out. The foundation was, was shaky to begin with. The divine don't play about you. The divine wants you to know it wasn't solid. Someone wasn't your people's. It wasn't your friend. We're telling you, you're thinking everybody your friend it wasn't your friend. For some of you, you have to get, you have to get something for all of your people, something for all of your family, something to symbolize, symbolize the family, a family ring, something that everybody in the family has. We all got one. We all got a chain. We all got a ring. That's how you know you're part of the family. 
That's how you know you a made man. Oh, a woman. It being family, feeling like a mob family out here. Somebody getting a whole lot of money, it being an organization and growing. <laughs> for real, for real. You can get thrown out the family. Somebody got thrown out the family. That shit popped up in Taurus reading. It's Taurus is reading too. Somebody got thrown out the family. Now they don't get the benefit, the perks of being in a family, and they feeling it. Or you think they are? They are in different ways. Not the way you think. Some of you think you controlling somebody's pockets or you hitting them where it hurts. They don't need you that way. They got money. You can't hurt their pockets. Mm -mm. You hurt somebody's heart. You hurt somebody's pride. Pride. Leo. Some of you. Mmm. You got so much coming in, so much going on that you're forgetting things, you need to write things down. You need to write things down as they come in. So much to do. Family ring, family heirloom. Everybody has to have one. You ain't got one, you ain't really down. Or you making jewelry, you making stuff. It's going to be something that gets passed down. The legacy something about something getting passed down. The family heirloom. <laughs> Whatever you got. Your children got to get. Whatever you got. Your family got to get. Your team got to get. If I eat, we all eat. And, and, and everybody has to know we're together. Everybody has to know we're together. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angel, spirit, God, spirit, animal, source, God, universe. Please allow me to tap in with my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. To see what messages you have at this time, Spirit. Please protect the spirit from any negative energies, only allow energies of love and light to enter. I say thank you, Spirit. I don't feel like you're praying for real. You don't feel like you're praying enough. Not like you normally do. Some of you don't pray at all, but for those of you who pray, it's not like you normally do. You don't know how you, you, you don't know what to say, like you normally know what to say, or you're not doing this enough. You're really out here worrying about something. Stop worrying about it. You're lowering the vibration of it being really beautiful. It being really safe. It being really carefree somehow. Really new. You needing to be carefree. This could be worrying about a child. Worrying about something. It's in its early stages. Or it's newly on its own. Newly up and running. Someone is seeing that they're aging. They can tell that they're aging. It's freaking them out a little bit. You didn't want to share the floor with someone. Didn't want to share the floor with you. Or you didn't want to share the floor with someone else. You knew you would have to fight for attention. You always had to fight for attention if this person was around. Or well, they always have to fight for attention. When you're around, you didn't want to have to deal with that this time. You went and did something. Went around them so you didn't have to deal with them. They have to deal with, deal with their deal with their name, the name, the name. That was the download. You being all about the name. The name is what matters. Being all about name brands with some of you. It being so superficial, it's 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 really not funny. I was about to say something really offensive. It would have been offensive to to a lot of people. I was going to use a certain word. Normally, I wouldn't give a shit. You know, say what I want to say, but. I also don't want to offend people. You, you, you don't give a shit. You'll offend people. You'll say something specifically because nobody wants you to. Yeah. 
you're high as shit, Gemini, you look high as shit. Something's going on with your eyes or somebody looks high as shit, you're looking at this. Someone knows when you're high, you think you know, you think people don't know when you're high, they know when you're high. Something's going on with somebody's eyes. Someone's had eye, eye laser surgery before, or they need to, they've had it before, they may need it again. I don't know if that's something that you get again, but somebody could have had issues with their eyes and then they wouldn't have surgery and their eyes are still bothering them or, or is it the problems are resurfacing somehow it's, it's time to get a checkup i don't know something with the eyes something with the eyes you should have seen something coming you should have seen someone coming other people saw it for you other people foresaw foresaw that something was going to be a problem that's why you keep certain people around you. People who will see things that you're not gonna problems coming that you're not able to see. Not because you, you, you you're not smart enough, but you have your eyes elsewhere. I mean, you know, La Familia. You know the vibes. Mob family. That's the name of this that's the name of this fucking video. That's the name of this fucking video. It's a mob family. It is what it is. That shit how it resonates. Somebody got a lot of children. Somebody got a big family. It's, and, 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 and you don't want no smoke. You don't want to mess with this family. Somebody's family is not a joke. It's not a game. Your family. It's not a joke. It's not a game. They don't want to mess with you. Mess with one. Mess with one of you. They mess with all of you. And all of you are strong. All of you are powerful. All of you are gifted. Some of you, it's a whole fucking team. You got a bunch of children, and they're, 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 they're powerful. Somebody's children's a black belt. Somebody's children's a black belt. Kick your grown ass. In a real way. All you do, all you doing is thinking about love. I said that right. Your channel message being, why don't we fall in love, Amory? Marie? You're being all about love. Think about love. Wanting a soulmate. Wanting a twin flame. One in a twin flame, one thinking about this, trying to call this person in, to talking about this energy, drawing this energy in. The next channel song that came out was Foolish by by Ashanti, and it made me laugh. You're not even you're not even being in the space to even call in that energy, you know, thinking that you want something that you're not even ready for for real. But you know about being in a relationship. But you know about being considerate about somebody or of someone else. Well, this is somebody that you're dealing with. The person that you want to get in a relationship with. Don't know shit about being in a relationship. And you want to be in a relationship with them. Some of you, it is you. You you are completely like a 12-year-old. What the hell you know about being an adult and being in an adult relationship? Even though your ass is, you know, 30, 40 for some of you. For real. Don't know what the hell you're doing. Have your masculine energy be in this way. Or you, uh, 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 uh divine feminine being a, a real fucking, you're a real glutton for, my, for punishment. Trying to have, uh, real adult conversations, deal with real problems. Have love. Love being out here. Look at this. I just split the, split the deck. Love begins us out here. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. What the hell's up? What the hell's up? What's up? What's going on? You love, you love and love right now. Meanwhile, the person that you love and love with, the person that you want to be in love with, you want to be in a relationship with is really immature. Or you are really immature. You are not prepared for what it is that you want. Get prepared. Get prepared. Absolutely. You can only all you can do is do the work on you. If this is on you, then you, then, you know the the task is easy. The task is easy. You can't make somebody else be what you want them to be. You can't make someone else be the partner. You know the the perfect partner. You can either accept the person that you happen to fall in love with for who they are. <laughs> that's what you got that's what you were drawn to that's what you wanted or you or you go elsewhere you find that that thing in that relationship would be you settling and you're not up for that that's not what you want to do and you go elsewhere to find what you're looking for but y'all be getting with people thinking that uh, seeing the potential of people thinking that you're going to be able to change them and being completely wrong about this this shit has to stop it has to stop I don't care what you dress them in I don't care what you put them in I don't care how you pretty it up you know They'll never be who you want them to be. You also do a lot for people who don't ask you to do a lot for them. And then they be ungrateful. And they be like, well, I didn't ask you to do this. And, 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 and you're left looking stupid. So let's stop doing that too. You know? 
some of you go out of your way to hurt people specifically. Go out of your way to leave specific people out. You're showing a lot of favoritism somehow. You're being very selective in who you talk to. Being very secretive. Hush, hush. About the details of something about what's going on. You know, having secret meetings. Having secret parties. Secret get-togethers. It's a fucking mob family. It's a fucking mob family. Somebody for some of you, somebody just wanted an invite, wanted an invitation to, to an event that you're throwing or to a meeting or to a party that you're throwing, where there's nothing but killers in the room, you know. <laughs> and ultimately, they don't even like you, but they just wanted to be invited because they they feel left out. They feel some type of way. They thought that they was gonna pop up to your event, and pop off. That's why they were saving that. That's why they were saved. The divine saved them. Just told you, you know what, don't even invite this person. Do it secret. Do it in secret. Don't even let them know so they don't come. Purposely leave this person out because they will come and just start trouble and they get fucked up. That's the truth. Take that how you want to take it. Take it how it resonates. Just physically get physically fucked up. In certain circles, get physically fucked up. If you come up over here acting crazy, we're going to fuck you up. That's 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 what it is. For others of you, it's it's uh, beating someone up. So it's uh, verbally, mentally. They don't want the smoke. They're not as smart as you. They're going to try it. And you're going to make them look real dumb. It's going to be real ugly. For others of you, it's some physical shit. Or it could get physical. It can come to blows. Literally. If someone comes in your in your space. Disrespecting you in front of your family. Or disrespecting your family members. You're trying to keep the peace. But, but somehow. Ooh, you're trying to keep the peace. Shout out to the peace dealer. I just heard the peace dealer. Shout out to the peace dealer. Shout out to the motherfucking peace dealer, right? You wouldn't even be here, all, all of us connecting this way, without him. Shout out to you, in a real way, bro. This being really dope, uh, but... Yeah, knowing that it could get a, a, a really ugly if you put some of the wrong people in, in, in the same room. Or put... Put two people in the same room that you know don't don't like each other, or put yourself in a room with someone that you know doesn't like you. And 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 once you you being attacked, someone seeing you being attacked or how would break loose, but also, for some of you you being behind all of this and 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 knowing, knowing somehow that it would it would things would would go a certain type of way or. You kind of push things in a direction for it to end up going sour. You need to check in with this. About yourself. You wanting love, the next the next song being foolish. Foolish, it, it being foolish for you to try to rush in. I keep hearing that. Being foolish what you did. You got some things to work out. You, you can handle things better moving forward in your life. Need to learn something from how something played out so that you make better decisions moving forward. For some of you, you planned for something, and now you just gotta wait for it to, to pan out, see how it works, see how it grows, just see it, see it, see what's going to happen. You gotta let it happen. Some of you, you had a problem. I'm having throat chakra problems. You had a problem. I'm burping. When I'm burp, somebody's full of it. Somebody was full of it. Somebody lied. Somebody didn't communicate or someone lied on you. Some For some of you, somebody said something to you in the moment. You didn't say what you wanted to say or you didn't react how you wanted to. But you got your revenge later on. What they did with you. You don't need the same tool that, ooh, I shuffled and this shit still popped out. And heart shock was at the bottom. I cannot make this up. Uh, emotional loss, a masculine energy out here really trying to replace a, a void, an emptiness that he's been feeling for a really long time, being really, really ready for love, being really, really ready to admit that he actually has a heart where he's been telling himself for the longest that he doesn't. Some of you, somebody, man, you, you're longing for someone that you you keep trying to, to ignore. You're burying yourself in work. Somebody's burying themselves in work so they don't have to acknowledge where they just want to be loved or they are completely overwhelmed at this point. Somebody's completely or somebody's literally heartbroken that you left somehow. Left for some reason. It being really... Um, 
it being really shady somehow because all of this being under the guise of someone really loving you and them not loving you. Love begins, emotional loss, heart chakra, memories of love, and then <laughs> deception and envy and the disruption card, the tower card being out here. Yeah, man. Trapped in fear. Someone wants you right where you, or you, or you wanted someone right where you want, right under your thumb, right where you wanted to keep them. That type of energy. Someone wanting you uh, to stay in a relationship where you staying because you remember what it used to be like, or you don't know what life would be like without this person, you know, or this person trying to uh, manipulate you by telling you that that they love you. Meanwhile, they're 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 preying on you. They're preying on you. Someone also trying to make it seem like they don't know how to love. They're incapable. Someone's are really emotionally uh, unavailable. And you just want them to uh, poof, poof, boom, wake up one day with fucking emotions that they just don't have. Access to emotions that they just don't even know how to tap into. Yeah, you know? Being a real fucking dinosaur. It's kind of crazy because I just heard Aries masculine energy out here. Just heard it. Just felt it, you know, in the air. It cast a shadow, a really big shadow, it being really dark, but someone being in their shadow, someone having a really bad, big shadow. Could be an I just heard fire, so it doesn't necessarily have to be an Aries. Could be a Leo or Sagittarius. Everybody's dealing with the fire signs tonight. Being weird. <laughs> They're being weird. Your concept or your idea of how something is going to go. Being very foolish and thinking that it's okay. What you, what you think about someone or what somebody... What you think about a spiritual healer too. Or what, some, or what someone thinks about you. Being far off. Being totally wrong. Thinking that you know about this person. Or people thinking that they know about this person. And being totally wrong. Having their minds blown. People having their minds blown about you, what you do, or just how great you are, just how powerful you are. They didn't know. Your last encounter with this person, your first encounter with this person, not being, not being the best, not being the greatest, or not it not be, uh, being a, being a good example, it not being a good example to show you where they at, where, where they're at in the, in life, how they're doing. You caught someone on an off day, or they caught you on an off day. They didn't see you at, at your best. Some of you was really wildin' though. Some of you were really wildin' because you're talking to somebody who you may come across who looks like a bum. Somebody looking like a bum. Somebody's not taking care of me while they're rich. You know? <laughs> the richest people are not feeling like they have to wear the, 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 the biggest names. Going back to the names, right? The, uh, the, this has to do with name brand. Name brand clothing for some of you. But for other use, others of you, absolutely not. All you care about is the name. You want your name to be a household name. You don't ever have to know my face. You never have to see me. You can always wonder, you know, put put whatever face you want to my name. Know the name. Kind of liking that. So when people do find out who you are, they're being totally taken back. They're being totally surprised at who the boss is. Who's responsible for it all. Really underestimating you because of your luck. Because of your look. Because of your luck, your previous luck. Ooh, people judging you or you judging someone because of their previous luck. Just because of the, the cards that were dealt to them. Just because of the cards that were dealt to them. Just because they weren't always abundant. Weren't always doing so well. Didn't always look so well. Weren't the, you weren't the cool kid. People didn't like you. People didn't pick you. You weren't the favorite. You are now, though. You have it all now, though. You're the center of attention now, though. Shit just works in your favor. Shit being smoothly now, though. You're getting the karma that you needed. Or someone else. And there's been there being a, a, a meeting that's supposed to happen. Seeing someone. Seeing that you misjudged them. They, they, they've healed. They've become... Or you have healed. You have become the next, the next level of yourself. You have spiritually ascended. You have brought a bunch of... And then, um, then this Healer of the Ages card pops out. The Healer of the Ages card pops out. You put the, the, you are an elite healer. Someone is fighting with you for being an elite healer. Someone is fighting with you about, about 
what the, what the concept of God is, what Jesus is, what Christ is. Because some of you, you're fighting about religion. Someone's really trapped in a certain, or someone's afraid that you're going to, or they're going to have to debate you about your beliefs. Meanwhile, you know, mm -hmm. I find the most religious people are the most intolerant. To people on their spiritual path, you know. You know, I don't care. I don't care how you get to God. How you get to God, you get there. Don't try to tell me how to get there, though. Feel me? Then we cool. And that being a problem, you're doing this to somebody or someone else trying to do this to you. Some of you, this is about God. You don't like. You don't like somebody's beliefs, or they don't like your beliefs. They don't like how you worship, or. They don't like <laughs> the opportunities you built, the platform you built. They don't like your job. They don't like what you do for a living. They don't like your addictions. They feel you're addicted to something. They don't like your bad behavior. They don't like your temper. Someone really feeling like it's too much for them. It's wicked or it's devilish or it's wrong. They don't like how beautiful you are. Some of you, someone tries to start some shit and lie on you just because you're beautiful, because you're gorgeous. You don't like someone because they're gorgeous. Some of you, you're a wicked stepmother. Have you ended up being a wicked stepmother? Not wanting, not wanting a, they're being a wicked stepmother. You being a wicked stepmother or having a wicked stepmother, not wanting, um, the child that isn't yours to be around, to be around to compete with your child, you can be around to compete with your daughters. Someone treating, someone treating someone like Cinderella. It literally being that energy for some of you. Someone treating you like the redheaded stepchild. Hmm. Hmm. When they need to be appreciating you. They need to be giving you your fucking flowers because you're magical as hell. You be knowing. Someone wants to give a feminine energy. Someone is seeing a feminine energy in, in action and just ready to give her her flowers. Or, or continues to, already has and continues to. Watching her on her journey. Watching her explore. Somebody was supposed to. You saw somebody. Somebody went on a journey and has done so many amazing things or has grown. Is going to help you grow. Help your family grow. Has done you proud, has done the family proud, has brought honor when you continue to make them feel like they brought dishonor, or someone tries to make you feel like you brought dishonor to the family when all you do, you, you're, you're, you're the goat. Ooh, you're the goat, you, you're the goat. You could be a Capricorn, you could have a Capricorn in your, in, in your chart. You're the goat. You're one of the greatest. Period. Your abundance is how too. Anyway. I'm tired. I just wanted to come in here and say hi. I'm out of here. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can book uh, with me at clearsightconsulting.net. I love you so much. It's your girl Merch, the Big Body Bench. Run, tell them. The Big Body High Priestess. Somebody come see this. Peace.